everybody, it's me, Autistic Genius. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is gonna be a really short one because I've had like literally hardly any comments this week. I know it's it's been a it's been one of those weeks, you know, when the whole world's just against you. And there's nothing, there's nothing you can do but just <laughs> what a load of rubbish. Although we haven't had many comments, it's not quantity, it's quality. And our first quality comment comes from the lovely Yazzie Wilson. Yazzie Wilson, this is a comment I believe on my failure bar video. And she says, this video has really helped me and I plan to try and use it. As I get very angry at myself if I make a mistake, I can get really distressed over it. So thank you for sharing this and I'm going to try my best to use it. Yes, in the failure bar, if you make a mistake, mistakes are positive because you learn from mistakes. If you make a mistake, you accept it and go, yes, I made a mistake. And then you learn from it. Simple as that. One of our regulars, Randy Darkshade, comments with a bit of an essay. He says, we all fail sometimes, but because no one is perfect, which is good because when we fail at something, make a mistake, get something wrong, we learn from it. I usually call myself a twat or something that, or something similar to giggle to myself. Dipstick is my favorite name to call myself, lol. Do you ever get misinterpreted slash understood when having a conversation with people all the time? I do at least once a week and more so online which does sometimes leave me feeling a bit down and depressed because I have offended people sometimes without intending to or because they misunderstood something I typed. It also frustrates me just as much if I misunderstand someone else. Have a good week, Tom. <laughs> I misunderstand a lot of things. I am, um, as an autistic person, the problem, my biggest issue is um, vibes, but I get a vibe and um, I, uh, I struggle to interpret the vibe and that's the, it's like the feeling you get from another person and I tend to overthink those feelings because I can't imagine where they're coming, where, how they're thinking. So I kind of overthink the vibe and the vibe and normally there's a chance where there's absolutely nothing wrong but I'm convinced that there is and it's just I misread vibes all the time and that's something that I need to work on. But yeah Randy, great comment. Mariano Bola! Hey, Mariano Bula. Hey, Mariano Bula. Hey, Mariano Bula. Mariano Bula asked me the difficult question. What's so genius about you? Well, Mariana, let me show you. Whoa! Too much, too soon, too far. There's a line, and you crossed it, bitch. I don't know. All I want to do is take autism, explain it in as simple terms as possible, in a fun and entertaining way. I believe that not really many people are doing that now. So I'm trying to be unique, trying to be, do it in a different way, which people seem to want to look for, and hopefully they'll find. But that's what I'm trying to do, be positive, not negative, positive always. What's so genius about me? I don't know. All I'm offering is a perspective in a simple, clear way. So what, whoever's genius about me is up to you, because I, I don't see the genius. All I see is the autistic part of my name all the time. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's a really short one, but I will make it up to you. Please keep the comments coming. Just comment, tweet, Facebook. It's, I know it's been a slow week, but it's okay. We get these weeks. And I hope you all have an amazing weekend. Thanks ever so much for commenting and tuning in and everything. Please send me a comment and I will read it out in the next video. Bye!